is Saturday the 12th of December and I, I've got a bee in my bonnet because of that Alistair Darling. Well, I'll tell you, he's no darling of mine. What about that pea budget report? I'll tell you what, did you see him in Parliament with uh, Gordon Brown? I mean, they look like a cross between the Ghost of Christmas Past and the Grim Reaper. And what news they had for us was worse. I mean, 179, 178 billion pounds public borrowing requirement next year and 175 the following year. I, well, no, that's this year and next year. I don't know what it is, but all I know is we're stuffed. And these are the guys that have done it to us. Well, I'll tell you what else. As I speak, the uh, people are revolting in Copenhagen, aren't they? I mean, they're saying the climate can't wait because... Uh, they're trying to reduce the temperature of uh, rise in the atmosphere from uh, what it could be anything up to three degrees and they want to keep it down to two degrees so cut down the emissions that are being put out by the industrialized nations and the up and coming developing nations like China and India and Brazil and places like that and there are other people saying well that's not good enough we've got to keep it down to 1.5 degrees otherwise places like the Maldives and I've talked to you about them before you know those lying islands off the uh, coast of the India uh, they'll go under and they staged a parliamentary meeting didn't they the uh, cabinet of the Maldives to highlight that fact and they're saying if the temperature rises over 1.5 degrees a lot of these islands could be absolutely swamped so if you ask me as far as climate change is concerned uh, with all these people, about 15,000 of them, I think, in the Copenhagen, enough to have a carbon footprint of a small African nation, I think they said, well, we're going to be stuffed anyway. Doesn't matter what they agree to or disagree to, it's not going to be binding anyway, they don't think. And Obama, he's supposed to be turning up after he picked up his peace prize. Well, I think, you know, after addressing the uh, Nobel Peace Prize Committee, saying that, you know, America has to go out and fight wars in order to keep the peace, I mean, how can you get a peace prize for saying you're going to send an extra 30,000 people to Afghanistan to knock off a few more people in order to keep the peace? No one uh, seems to take a sensible view of things. If there's any disagreements, well, you've got to bring out the big guns and kill a few people. And I don't agree with that. Uh, as far as I can see, Alistair Darling and Gordon Brown, I mean, that guy, he's the guilty one. Talk about worldwide recession and taxing the bankers. Well, that's a good idea for a start. How can they be paying themselves billions of dollars in, and pounds in uh, bonuses when they're the ones who've created the problems? Well, it's the politicians. Well, him, Alan Greenspan, he's retired, but he's not any less culpable for all of the problems that we've had. Uh, they're the ones who uh, have got us into the position we are. We can't afford the hundreds of millions of pounds that we need to pay for the uh, developing nations to offset the carbon uh, emissions that they want to make or bring in the new technologies to avoid it. Uh, EU announced that they're going to give seven billion or something like that over the next three years, euros that is, and uh, the African nations are up in arms, aren't they? They're saying they need hundreds of millions. And so, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all, well, I mean, the long and short of it is we're stuffed. Bye for now.